Hey guys, here at SHOT 2020 at ST Engineering Land Systems, and Cheryl's here is going to talk to us about the Ultimax Mark 8. Cheryl, thank you so much for coming on. Thank you for having us. Our, our pleasure. Hi. So, um, we participated last year, but only on a display. Yeah. So this is the first year we're actually demoing it and giving visitors a try on the Ultimax Mark 8. And actually shooting it. That's so yes. cool. Thank you so much. Okay, okay uh, the market was actually uh, incepted. Uh, uh, this variant was incepted in... 2005, and um, we've made multiple improvements over the year. Oh, we have also included uh, extendable butt stock, so we we are able to fit users of different sizes, different uh, arm lengths, and it's also foldable to fit into small, tiny spaces such as vehicles. So, uh, as we know, we are trying to get things smaller, and we are cramping uh, our soldiers into smaller vehicles. Mm -hmm. So. Having a foldable butt stock will actually save some space for the soldiers when they are cramped inside a tiny vehicle. Yep. Yep. Ah, okay. And then it's also adjustable for height too. Uh, yes. We don't have to do that, but it shows. Yeah, yeah. Why don't we show it? Show us how it's adjustable for height. So. And that's actually part of the as well. Yeah. Gotcha. So you can adjust it for three different height modes yes. as well. Yes. All right, so what else can you tell us about um, what's, what's new with the Mark 8 to the, to the U.S. market? Okay, uh, previously, the, uh, the Mark 8 was also, um, we had a different type of uh, caulking mechanism. Okay. We, it, it was less um, intuitive. It had to give, you had to give it a twist and you pull. Gotcha. So now we've added just a lever. You okay. just give it a pull to the back yep. and push it back. Gotcha. And then you're talking about the Picatinny rails on the front here. This is new with the Mark 8. I know yes. you had it in the Ultimax 2000, but this is more uh, in service with the Singaporean Army, right? Yes. Uh, so this is actually uh, improved. We actually redesigned the whole thing to make it more aesthetic. Uh, and also included P-rails because P-rails uh, gives our user a lot more flexibilities in choosing their, their sightings, their accessories like touch lights, lasers, anything actually. Uh, that you can keep off, it can go on to the field. Yes, there's also a, a, just a quick change barrel. The quick change barrel yep. as well. And so, um, we were messing with it earlier. Yep. And then it just pops out like that. Yes. And then make sure to get that key in there. And just give it a twist. Yep. There we go. And that's it. Um, what are you looking at for export sales and military law enforcement sales, not just in the United States, but throughout the world? We, we, we are actually uh, looking to sell um, Worldwide, yeah, uh, mostly for the law enforcement and the military market. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, currently, at the moment, we are not into commercial sales. Yeah. But we are not. Uh, uh, at, at this juncture, uh, uh, it's not something that we are looking into. Mm -hmm. But uh, who knows what may bring us into the future? Yeah, true. And uh, you know, it's very unlikely that we'll see this in the U.S. civilian market for sale as a semi-automatic thing. Yes. Um, but it's still cool that we can still appreciate the Ultimax and, you know, one of the marvels of light machine gun design. Yes. Um, that's still something we can appreciate, regardless of the fact that if we can or can't own it in the U.S. as yes. civilians. So, um, I'll also give you a brief uh, specification. Okay. This is the world's lightest machine gun. Yeah. It stands at 5 kg. Yeah. I don't think anyone has anything less than 5 kg. Yeah. <laughs> and you can shoot it on your nose. Yes, we can. <laughs> so if you come to Singapore, we'll probably give you a, a visit around our factory and you can have a look. Okay, we'll certainly do that on TFB. Cheryl, thank you so much for coming and talking to us about the Ultimax Mark 8. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Thank you.